Good afternoon, my dear students. Welcome back to the Independent View Online Classes. In the last video, we could discuss scene three. Mara told the king about the significance of the goddess of rivers. I am the even the importance of the Baba Bodan Hill area, how goddess rivers had taken her role in providing all the basic amenities to the king's subjects. Well, my dear students, and today let us continue rest of the conversations of scene 3. A visitor says, Mara, Mara, oh brother, when did you come? He, he is asking. A visitor comes and uh, when Mara sees him, he welcomes him there and even he asks what is the reason behind of coming by whether he has come by walk or by other means of communication visitor says when Mara asked him when did he come just this moment I left my village at sundown yesterday and I have walked without a pass Visitor answered, Visitor replied, Mara, that he just had come few minutes ago or just at that moment. And <coughs> he told that yesterday he left it at sundown, sundown is sunset, and reached very earlier. Because he did not halt anywhere. He did not stop anywhere. Mara says, come into my hut and have some food. There is bound to be something. You can much, though nothing very good. I mean, if you want to uh, come over here, come into my hut and have some food. Because whatever is available, you need to have. It's my humble request. Yes. Though there is nothing to have. But whatever is there, you need to have it. It's my request. Alright. And he added, my wife is away. I, I and my son are running the house. He said that his wife is not there. He himself and his son are running the house. Well, my dear students, next visitor says, I have come all the way to ask a favor of you. You know, our village is the farthest in our king's domain. Visitor is telling, I have come from the farthest distance and I just want a favor of you. What is the favor here? What he wants to ask to Mara? Right? Crops parched up. Parched up means dried out by heat. Parched up. Parched up means dried out by heat. Phrasal word is My dear students, a visitor is saying that already the village, in the village, the entire agriculture has been spoiled. Why it is being spoiled? Because crops are already dried up and cattle are dying of rot. Cattle are dying of rot. Will you give some water? 
is asking that please we don't have water in our village can you provide us some water so that we will be able to live comfortably without finding any difficulty well my dear students please underline this conversation and also the next conversation mara says certainly brother it is here for all the kids subjects to take certainly brother you can take of course you have authority to take this yes tomorrow i'll come with you and see where you can lay the channel tomorrow i'll see i'll see and i'll come with you and uh, where you show me the communication i mean channel of water flow there i will observe the things i'll see it and will determine it and as soon as soon as you have done it and the water is yours once you show the channel once you show the path of flowing water in which way or in which into in which direction the water flows once you show me i'll definitely provide you the water he, he says that he assured you mara assured it will be let to you according to the law laid down by the king obviously though you show it the channels for the water to flow but there are some rules and regulations we have to abide by them i mean we have to follow the rules yes ha ah, do you notice there the part of the lake muddy meanwhile uh, he notices that uh, part of the lake is completely being muddied yes it was sapphire light shade of blue sapphire means a light shade of blue light shade of blue i mean earlier he did not see that there was a change in the sky but now little gradually i mean there are changes made in the sky all right like only a moment ago it was crystal clear a moment ago but ha ah, see those clouds in the mountain top now look at the look at the mountain top how yes clouds have come they have changed their color yes there is heavy rain there veda is swelling and carrying mud and flood into the lake i must keep an eye on her tonight veda is swelling and it's completely in a flood veda is bringing down the water water level is increasing gushing of water is being increased yes i must keep an eye on her tonight i must see when there will be a disastrous or catastrophic when there will be a delay to this entire baba budan hill area i'll have to see boy meanwhile he calls his son who to ganga boy come come here let us go in i fear there will be a heavy rain on us soon i mean to say that by saying to his son that or by calling his son that there would be heavy rain on them very soon so better not to stay or not to remain in the rain in spite of remaining in the rain if they enter into a hut it would be more helpful for both the father and the son my dear students let us continue in the next scene right now coming to scene 
my dear students in scene 4 late at night torrents are down porch i am a shrieking storm yes late night there was a heavy rain and stormy weather completely shrieking storm high pitched sound high pitched noise of the heavy wind the king's palace the bell at the palace gate ringing insistently i mean insistently it is continuously and there was a continuous there was a continuous ringing bell was found at that midnight king to got surprised and shocked what was happening then why there was shrieking sound or shrieking storm why it was like that king uh, is trying to ask himself that who is so urgently summoning me at this hour who is calling me at this hour what has happened in this terrible night of storm go down and see who it is is asking that who is there downstairs and who is calling me at this late night at that to this midnight and what is happening there why there is a bell why there is a ringing bell insistently and shrieking storm yes the bell ceases and the sound of footsteps the bell stops ringing and uh, footsteps sound is being heard yes who is coming whose footsteps are those yes who are you man what has happened that you should be calling us at this hour why are you casting so blind so badly yes who is who are you why are you coming with yes full of tension and why are you breathing heavily gasping means to take breathing or uh, breathe heavily what's wrong with you why are you uncomfortable yes my dear students underline these conjunctions man says i have been running man is saying that i have been running that's the reason i am gasping here i mean breathing heavily i can't help to breathe slowly now yes heart beats are increased fine king says in this storm who are you what has happened king is asking to mara who are you what has happened and why are you over here why are you up here what's wrong with you has anything wrong anywhere or has anybody done anything is there any disastrous ness now fine yes man i mean he says that who mr mara he replied that i am mara watchman of the lake most high i am nobody else but i am mara most high i am mara i have come over here he didn't say it. when king did not recognize him he asked him who are you he, he, he answers he replies that he is a mara right king says ah, mara how different you are now battered by this rain you are damaged by blows yes battered means damaged by blows by this rain with your hair plastered on your face and all that water dripping down you are damaged by the blows and entire your hair is appeared here as if you are plastered on your face and the drops are dripping down it's because of heavy rain his entire body is drenched into a water his clothes are also wet so he can't able to appear like us now as we appear without yes as we appear with 
well suited dress coat i mean well dress coat he is not appeared over here he appears as if he he has come all the way from lower water i mean wet clothes yes mara says i beg your majesty's grace for bringing my presence here in state i want to tell you something that's the reason i have come over here i have come running battling with the roaring wind i have come i just battled with the roaring wind a wind was yes wind was blowing very much heavily it was terrific i battled i struggled i strained more to reach your palace my lord he is saying who mr mara is saying yes i have come running battling with the roaring wind and through slush and raging torrents yes partially covered yes are partially the rain uh, ice bergs turned into water and even uh, slush in the sense of partial uh, ice bergs are snow yes melted snow even in another meaning melted snow slush means melted melted snow my dear students and raising torrents and a violent rain raising torrents means yeah raising torrents a violent rain a violent rain my dear students so it was heavy rain and even uh, even it can be it can also be called as uh, a torrential rain yes that it must be was completely dangerous for him uh, there was heavy wind uh, there was a shrieking storm or uh, even a heavy rain so how could uh, it possible for him to reach palace in that situation or in that it must be a that's a, that is the only reason he is saying that uh, it was uh, unbelievable it must be here to digest him or to reach him uh, towards our uh, towards the destination yes forgive me your majesty i am trembling with a message within me may i utter it i mean he is vibrating slightly he is trembled he is being shaken he is not able to balance his body properly why because he has lost now the hopes of living on this earth that's the reason he is not able to speak properly now my dear students please underline these conversations marai king king yes mara says my lord it is the it is about the lake it is about the lake i feel faint to mention it i feel faint to mention it my lord i just don't have such a dearness to tell about the situation now i have lost all the braveness within me i just don't know how to explain it how to explain the situation or what situation which is happening now outside this palace now yes all right king says oh tell me what has happened what's wrong with this yes god is of river what's wrong with this it must be or this weather yes mara says it, it is about to smash its bounds i mean to say that its bounds means boundary mara is replying that it is about to smash its bounds bounds means boundary it is about to this blood is going to break the boundary of yes within a minute or two it is very difficult for us to digest it is very difficult for us to bear it king says mara are you mad yes are you sure your mind is your own what are you saying are you consciously saying everything are you here or somewhere else what is happening what's wrong with you yes has anybody entered into you or has any force entered into your body that's reason you are acting like this even k 
king is also not able to believe in his words after seeing this situation of Mara over here, my dear students. Yes, that's what he is asking that. Are you sure your mind is your own? He is asking. Yes, Mara answers. You are majesty till the evening. There was no sign of coming rain. Till the evening there was no sign of coming rain. But it was a beautiful bright day, unruffled. I will say that unruffled. Unruffled means untroubled. Till the evening there was no sign of rain. There was no sign of anything. Yes, it was untroubled. The lake mirrored the blue sky on its bosom. I mean the lake, the lake mirrored the blue sky. The sky was appeared clearly. It was as blue as ocean, but ocean color. I mean ocean water color. Color. So it was very much clear, but don't know what has happened after a few minutes. My well, but at dusk the sky darkened. I called my son in and shut the door of my hut. Raindrops battered my roof. At midnight, the wind rocked my hut. I got up and went out. My heart was disturbed. The sky color was completely brightened. But after a few minutes, it was turned into dark. And I took my son. Yes, inside the hut and we shut the door. And what was about to happen? Yes, raindrops battered. Battered means to beat up. Battered means to beat up. My dear students, here, in what way, yes, it was completely, yes, the noisy atmosphere, there is heavy wind and torrential downpour, that midnight, completely wind rocked, Mid midnight, Wind rocked the hut and he got up, who? Mara got up and went out. When he got up and went out, he got disturbed. It was something different weather, which he could not even bear. Well, my dear students, please underline. King, oh, tell me, is the lake going to break? King is asking to Mara whether. Something was wrong with the lake. Is it going to break? Yes. He was in completely confusion. I mean, he was put completely into dilemma. King was not able to make his mind stable. Why he is not able to make his mind stable? Because he is completely disturbed by the weather. And moreover, the Mara's words. Mara says, Your Majesty will know it presently. Please, you'll be able to understand what I am what I am trying to tell you. I rose from my bed and went out. I have never seen anything more terrible in my life, my lord. When I went, when I woke up and went from my bed, I could not even imagine what sort of weather was appeared or created at that point of time. Veda was thundering down the mountain. The wind shook the earth. Veda was thundering. There was lightning, thunder and heavy wind, shrieking storm and torrential rain. Yes. I went to the edge of the water. The waves rose to a man's height. I went to the, I mean Mara went to the edge of the water and water level was, I mean water's waves 
were fluctuated till the man's height. I mean, water level was increasing in its flow and hammered at the bank, hammered, beaten up at the bank of the Veda. The water level was just a hair's breadth. What is this hair's breadth? A hair's breadth. My dear students, a very small amount or distance. I mean, with an if little water was to be increased, definitely tank, the tank of Veda would have been completely swept away. It would have been spoiled completely or damaged completely or destroyed completely. Yes, beloved shore. Any moment it might heave and flow over. At any moment the water level will increase. Yes, heave over in the sense. Any moment it may raise over. Water level may increase, it may reach till the, yes, upper level, I mean higher level, unexpectedly, unimaginably. Water, if water level increases, definitely the flood may occur over here in the Baba Bodan Hill area. Well, my dear students, please underline this conversation. And the next two conversations, King and Mara as well. Mara, Mara was the lake. Uh, what is to happen to all of us now? What is going to happen now? Yes, are you going to lose our life? Our, our, what we have any kind of life on this earth now on earth? I am completely frightened. I have lost my hopes about the future. Yes, King B is completely is into confusion now. Mara replied, I fell down and prayed. The goddess stood before me. Who fell down? Mara is saying that. He fell down and prayed. The goddess stood before me. Her dresses were wild. Her eyes gleamed with a strange light. Her dresses were wild. They were completely terrific. Her hair, yes, was completely flying into different directions. And her eyes were gleaming with, yes, gleaming means glittering, shining like anything. Yes. With a strange light, she carried a sword in her hand and she had splashed her forehead with vermilion splash. Yes, splash notes. Covered with vermilion and bright patches on the forehead she was having. She was, there was a coronet on her forehead and sword in her hand. Yes, vermilion on her forehead. And she was, her appearance was completely strange. Her eyes were completely glittering. And uh, her dress code was made up of completely gold. Her appearance was wild. I mean, she was completely in an annoyed mood, angry mood. One can't see her through one's open eyes. One cannot see her directly. Yes. So at that position, I mean at that point of time, I covered at the sight of her, covered in the sense he moved back. He has lost his hopes of courage. So he could not move forward. Yes. And she, uh, she told me that, get up and hear me intently, she said. I am the goddess of the lake and that river Veda is my plaything. She asked me to get up and listen to my words. Veda is my own plaything. 
You need not to do anything now. Yes. Fine. Clear out of your heart at once. I will sweep away your heart. I'll clear your heart once. Mother, save me. Mother, save me. I mean, uh, Mara is requesting that goddess of the world that to save him from this flood. What is going to happen? I asked him. Who asked him? Mara asked him. What is going to happen to this area? Now next page. She answered him. I mean she replied him. I am going to kick away the miserable stones you have piled up. Pile up means to arrange. Pile up means to arrange. Yes, in a systematic way. My dear students, it is also phrasal verb. The hair spring is also phrasal verb. Patched up, it has been already written. You have piled up the miserable stones. You have completely controlled my water by imprisoning yes of Veda pile up to imprison the waters of my Veda yes I am going to destroy your tank at any point of time I am not leaving it now I am going to destroy it mother we put up we put it up at your command put it up in the sense to construct To construct, we can see we constructed it at your command. I mean, as per your order, then I said yes, and now I want to destroy it. I asked you to construct it. I asked you to construct the tank around with that, but now I don't want it. Now I want it to be destroyed completely. Yes, I I will splash away. Splash away. My dear students, splash away means to scatter. It is also phrasal verb. PV. I want to scatter it away now. I don't want to hold it on. I don't want to catch hold of it. I don't want to just keep it here only. I want to release it. Yes, I will splash away its waters when I like. Who are you to stop me? She replied. If I wanted it, I will splash it away. Earlier, I wanted it and I asked him to construct it. I created it, but now I don't want it. I want to completely destroy it. It's my own plaything. I am the subject to my knowledge, to my blessings. And I am the authority to construct and destruct. Who are you to ask me to stop doing this thing? You are not at all authorized to ask me in this fashion or in this way. Yes. I mean, thus she replied to Mara. Well, my dear students, till this conversation, please get it underlined. Hope you have understood this video completely. Thank you very much for listening to today's video. Let us conclude it and rest of the conversations of C4 will be continued in the next class. Keep subscribing Sri Guru Independent View Online Classes. Thank you so much for listening to today's video once again.